Florida State Miami games are always hard fought, hard fought games. <clears throat> this was like it always has been. Um, we we have a slight lead at halftime. <clears throat> I think they might have cut it to two points a couple of times. Um, they're a hard game for us to prepare because they shoot the ball well from the three, and, and they really – we've been vulnerable all year to containing the, the dribble drive. And, uh, they attacked the basket real well, and they're great finishers. We had our hands full, but I thought we got the stops that we had to during the critical parts of the game. and um, Obviously, Darren Green stepped up and, and, and shot the three very well. And, we got some big rebounds when we had to. Um, the interesting thing, we got some deflections and steals we had. In the first half, <clears throat> I thought that we, we had a lot of stops that, that allowed us to get out and get some easy baskets in transition. Um, you know, but they still found ways during the second half to drive and get to the basket. And there toward the end, I thought we did a much better job of containing the dribble. Guys, it says a lot about our guys because we've been having a, a, a challenging year, but it seems as though they want to finish the season strong. And um, I love their togetherness and camaraderie that they had today. We were trying to get all our seniors on the floor in the game. Locker room was festive, and they in a good frame of mind, I think, going into the ACC tournament. Any questions? What does it say for Darren on day like senior day? Well, uh, D Darren is our most experienced player, high character. And, and when you work as hard at your, at your game as he does, there's a certain level of confidence that comes over you that when you, you just feel confident, if I get this, this position on the floor. And then obviously it meant a lot more to him today being his, the last time he had probably played in the tuck. Uh, and, it meant an awful lot to him. And I thought his consistent shooting the ball well from the perimeter, I, I thought it inspired his teammates. And I thought he gave them confidence. That, and then they started looking for him. And I thought uh, that that made a huge difference. Us pushing the ball and moving the ball and, uh, a lot better in this particular game, uh, I thought we were able to move the ball enough to get him some, some good looks. Normally people have played no catch on him, and he, he doesn't have the opportunity to get the kind of looks he had today, but I thought his teammates did a great job of getting him the ball. Y'all had, uh, I think it was 12, I don't have in front of me, but 12 offensive rebounds in the first half. Um, well, Bowen had a few, I think Jackson was in there, Corin. Uh, was that an emphasis coming into the game, or just – well, just so you know, that's been an emphasis of us the entire year and just about every game. We just have not been as effective. I thought Taylor went in and got some, some offensive rebounds, and, and he just showed that I'm coachable and I'm going to utilize my skill set to, to help the team win this game. So I thought he, he kind of was more, much more great. He had a big block in, in the game there. But his energy level, I thought, was just tremendous. He shows what – is what the future holds for him. Taylor got us started. And I just thought the team kind of filled in a little bit themselves. And, we, and that's why we got to the foul line a little bit there. Because when you go to the offensive boards, you got the ball under the basket and, and, and you get to the foul line because people are trying to stop you when you got the ball around the basket. Why was it important for you to give all those seniors at least that couple seconds in the game? Well, this will be the last memory that they have of playing in the tub. And with their teammates, cheering them on. It's a very special moment, especially for the walk-ons who don't have a chance to play as nearly as much. And the energy that our players displayed uh, when they knew that we was going to start Isaac, I mean, it, they was clapping and calling his name getting all the guys in the game for this special moment means an awful lot. So 
I think we've lost two of these in 20 some years, I believe, last games. And uh, this will be a fond memory for them. It, did, it was important to us to send these guys off with that positive feeling, but it also is, is important to them to have a fond memory of your last game. So it was, it was huge all the way around. I know you want to go and win the whole thing, but when you have the DC, what do you want to see from your team when you guys take the I, I just want us to be consistent with the things we have in our game plan. I mean, physically we're capable. But, but a lot of the things that we would like to, to be habit, habits for them, of them is not there. I mean, and, 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 and I took things, I've, as a coach, I've, take, I've had to take a pause to look back, why? Well, most of the time my juniors and seniors have been freshmen and sophomores. So all these little things uh, that maybe doesn't show up in the statistical column, like your foot placement, your inside foot needs to always be up so you can see the man in the ball, uh, as opposed to your outside foot up where you lose sight of the guy on the other side. Just, you know, closing out with your hand above the ball, you know, accelerating on the switch, switching to, to overplay or switching the front. Those things are habit forming, and when you haven't drilled them, it's hard to execute it when it's not something that's part of, of what you've established over a period of time. And um, when someone is, is attacking you off the dribble, you need to accelerate. You can't go at the same speed that the dribble is going. You, you got to run as fast as you can to get back in front of them. I mean, those things th that we are not consistently doing is causing us some challenges during the course of the game. So, so um, there are a lot of fundamentals that I think that we could get better if we have, if, you know, and we got to approach it at moving forward. I, I got the memo this time. You know, we're going, you know, we're going to do a lot more of those fundamental drills that we need to install into our program and be consistent with. And, and in the past, we've had juniors that were freshmen and sophomores that kind of had, had developed those habits. And right now, we don't, we, we got some things that we need to be doing consistently to win that we have not uh, developed yet. If that answers your question. Coach, how important is it to end the season on a high note? <laughs> It's so important, you know. In in college athletics now, there are so many distractions that that's going on now. You know, with the now you're talking about unions, you're talking about portal, you're talking about NIL, you're talking about you know, it, it's your mind. You're so distracted with things that we normally didn't have to deal with for numbers of years and. That's the new, the new mindset in college athletics. So you've got to develop those relationships and, and have the ability to communicate and trust one another and come up with a, a, a new way of doing things. You know, times are not the same. So this, this is a very important game for us today. Your teams have won 11 out of the last 12, I think, against Miami. Is that I think it's 12 out of the last. Is it? Yeah. yeah, correct. 12 and 1. Somebody told me that. Okay. At the game. Yeah. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> yeah. um, I think that's what happens in, in, in rivals. Somebody get an edge for a while, and then somebody else, you know, will break it. It means an awful lot, you know, to both teams when you have these kind of rivals. It, sometimes it motivates one, and sometimes the other one might take it for granted. You know, that's just the human nature. But for us, you know, Miami and Florida State—they've had one of the more healthy, uh, healthy type of rivals that I know in the United States. I, when I was the head coach at the University of Miami, I was always, always admired uh, Bobby Bowden and the way how graciously. He was when he won and, and when they lost, and how he handled the rivalry. He was always complimentary. Uh, 
when he lost, and he never tried to rub it in the face when he won. He's had a, he was a class act, and and so it's been a nice rival that we respect each other, but we compete like the Dickens when we when we play against each other. And that's the way Miami we we've done in basketball. I think that was a period there where we were just tick, tick for tack. I think we were, I don't know what that number is, but you know we 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 win one and they win one. The last couple few years we've been kind of had the upper hand, and uh, hope we can keep it that way. Well, for us, this game probably mean, it means an awful lot because we haven't had the consistent year that we normally like to have. So I, uh, that's just that's what you uh, that's what it's all about, you know, trying to find a way to uh, you know to be successful. And now the hopes that we hang on to is there have been teams that have played their way in to the NCAA tournament. Uh, and all the way to the Final Four uh, that had similar years to what we've had. Uh, I think Georgia finished the season 17 and 14 and went all the way to the Final Four one time. I think LSU did the same thing. I mean, and, um, that's what makes this sporting event the, the, the number one sporting event in the world. When you can, I mean, you just, when you think about it, you have servicemen overseas you know, with their little, whatever, they, those little game, I mean, the brackets. brackets that they have, you know, t trying to figure out who's going to win. And all the offices at work and all the TVs going to be going to be tuned in to watching their teams and probably won't be very much work done doing, in, in offices while the Final Four is going on. Some people have it on their phone, you know, be, be, be looking down, <laughs> they're looking at the computer. You know, it's just a great, fun time because every school – starts off with an opportunity to win a national title. And that's why I've been such a proponent for, for, for adding more teams so they could enjoy the, the, the experience and the opportunity that, that playing in March Madness plays for you. So it's, it's huge. I mean, it, it's something that we always look forward to. And, and here at Florida State, we've enjoyed a lot of participation in that. So let's see, can we go and be one of those special teams that people be talking about 15 years from now, that, that they went to the ACC tournament and found a way to get it done. Everybody else set? Thanks, Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Jesus.